doing here is pinch up your skin, and on three, I'm going to inject one, two, three. Okay, how does that feel? I didn't even feel it. Oh, that's great. We're going to give you a little insulin shot. I know okay. you've had this done before, right? And this is just going to spread over, and you're going to give it right there. The George Washington University School of Nursing was approved as a school two and a half years ago in 2010. And since that time, we have been ranked in the top 50 schools of nursing and to have been able to move so quickly has everything to do with our quality of education and our quality of our undergraduate education has everything to do with our sim lab. The Virginia Science and Technology Campus Simulation Lab is unique because number one, just simply the size. It's really impressive what we've been able to do. And we've been able to do it with the full support of the university. We also have state-of-the-art monitoring equipment, high-fidelity mannequins, and faculty that really have embraced teaching in the sim labs. For a nurse, this level of being involved in the, in the technology was new to me. For nurses today though, it's very current because they have to learn about the technology. We're using technology at the bedside. And so the students being exposed to it at all levels, I think will just make them stronger as they go out and recognize that it's lifelong learning, that we're just at the beginning of their career and that you have to constantly be open to the changes that occur and work with those changes and learn. Academic technologies at George Washington has been critical to how effective our simulation lab is. They have guided us every step of the way in terms of selecting the equipment that we need, installing it, working with our faculty so that we all know how to use it effectively, and they're there. The challenges of the space was trying to achieve all the, the goals that the faculty want of being able to record, of being able to interact with students without it seeming like a faculty's interacting with them or without it seeming like they walked into a recording studio. This is Becky Sims and she is currently in labor. She'll be able to deliver a baby. We can have all the bleeding. Whatever goes on in a real birth, we can simulate that in here. We can listen to her heartbeat, she has pulses. We can also listen to the baby's heartbeat before she delivers. After you give birth, you rub the uterus and it gets hard. Hers will actually do that. Our students get into the critical decision making, which is so important to nursing care when they have finished all of their educational requirements. They will be safe, competent nurses, and they will also become leaders within the nursing field. This is an amazing place to kind of get the jitters out and to learn different ways to do things, new ways to do things, and most of all, practice, practice, practice so that we can make sure that we get things right before you're face to face with a patient. I feel like I'm actually learning hands on what I need to do in the real world. Because it's made to look like a clinical place when you actually go into a hospital, you're already kind of familiar with the environment. What I would say to a student who is interested in becoming a nurse, that George Washington University is the best place to come. We have the best facilities, we are best in class in our simulation laboratory and we are best in class with our faculty and George Washington is the place to be.